Happy training, whatever day you may be visiting us. <laughs> Today, we're going to be talking about messages, and it just so happens that yesterday was a holiday. And so to keep this content evergreen, we won't mention what holiday it was. But we want to talk about what happens when you have a campaign or any message that's scheduled on a holiday or a day, you don't want it to be scheduled anymore. Yes. How do you pull it off of that day and, and move it somewhere else? And I, I would say if you're sending a message on a holiday and it's intentional, it's likely a promotion, uh, some kind of offer where you want people to engage with you. But most of the time, if somebody isn't a drip campaign or uh, just a regular scheduled message, you don't want to message them on holidays because that is typically not a day when people will reply. They are off doing holiday things. Uh, so today we're going to show you how to move a message. Yep. And that's one of the powerful things about Scipio is this ability to schedule messages for the future. Uh, and so being able to move those messages makes makes it so that your messages are always contextual, always sent at the right time. Because that's one of the big pieces. You really have got to keep your message relevant. Yep. So let's go ahead and jump right into uh, the Scipio account here where we've got some messages and we'll talk about how to move them to an individual and to a group. Uh, and then moving a scheduled message versus moving a campaign message. Uh, so we've got our account here. First of all, um, where do you get help? We've got the resource center. We want to just always invite you to come back to this. There's great articles in here about um, scheduling messages and updating messages, moving messages. Anything you need to know within Scipio, you can find here. And this is your, it's your dashboard. We call it your resource center because it's packed full of resources. Yes. Um, but the majority of the time when you look for scheduled messages, you're going to use the calendar um, because you'll be able to see the messages here. So I want to show you a couple of things here. We've got messages scheduled for the future. I've got messages scheduled for tomorrow. Uh, I've got messages scheduled for the 18th and the 24th. Uh, let me go ahead and click on this message to Eliza. She's got a scheduled message. Oh, it's a birthday message. That's awesome. Clicking on her name here brings open her message in the side panel. And that's probably a message you don't want to move. Yes. We don't <laughs> want to move this message. But Regardless of the holiday over there, what not? Yeah, what if not. I have her message? What if I what if this isn't actually her birthday? Though? Then you want to move it. <laughs> yes. I just found out her birthday is actually on September 16th. And that was because when you uploaded that contact, her birthday, yeah, uh, for some reason you had it or... incorrect, but you found out the error of your ways, you've got to move her birthday to the right day. So all they're going to want to do is you're going to click this, the, um, this icon here, the message schedule icon and choose an updated date and time for this message and click done. And now when I hit send or schedule, it's going to move that message on the calendar. So I'm going to show that one more time. I click on the message inside the calendar. It will bring open the message composer and I can change the date and time of that message. Oh, I want this to go out at 10 in the morning now rather than uh, because 2 in the afternoon. she needs to have her wish early in the day. Yes. <laughs> there we go. All right. We've got our message scheduled. We moved it from the 9th to the 16th. If I click on Parker. Oh, we've got another birthday message here. I'm going to leave that one as it is. Because that's his birthday. Yes. That's <laughs> actual birthday. All right. I've got this message on the 18th. Well, let's go ahead and move that one. I want this one to go out on... Um, I actually want this to go out on Saturday rather than on a Friday. Friday. Yep. Again, I'm going to come to the message. I'm going to click the icon here and choose this to go out on the 19th. Uh, and I want to do this later in the afternoon, 4 p.m. Done. And now my message will move on my calendar. Okay, so it's pretty simple. Moving a message to one person, not a big deal. You might run into an experience like what we're about to show when you go to click on a message and it doesn't open up the side panel. I'm gonna go ahead and click on Wilson here and it just shows me the message. Only the message. This means that this message is actually part of a campaign. Okay, so it's not a, it's not a scheduled message like these ones that we just looked at. A message that we wrote and picked a date and time. This is part of a campaign. Uh, and so to move this message, I'm actually gonna do that from that contact profile. So let's go ahead and jump to Wilson Taylor in my address book. So I'll come to address book. Um, there's 40 contacts in here, so pretty easy to find Wilson. I'll click on Wilson and we have here Wilson's contact profile information. And for those of you who are watching this later, if this gets covered by the by our picture, sorry about that. Um, but in the information tab, um, we've got scheduled and one. I can click on that and I can see what message I have scheduled. Okay, it's scheduled for Thursday, September 24th. 
Let me go ahead and zoom out here. Now, if I hit edit, I can edit this message, even and you though it's get a campaign message. The same type of sidebar that you had previous with the other messages that were just scheduled messages. Yep. So we know that this is a campaign message because you couldn't move it on the calendar. Okay. And we, what, what is interesting about campaign messages is there's another message typically that will follow the message that you're sending. Uh, and so moving this message, this is actually a great way to, um, a lot of people ask, well, how do I start a campaign on a specific day? You can actually use this moving of the message to start your campaign on a specific day. So, hey, you know what, Wilson, I don't want your message to go out on the 24th. I want it to go out on the 21st. I'm going to make this just a little bit earlier in the day. Seven's pretty late at night. And I'm going to send on September 21st. And this is still a campaign message. So my, camp my next campaign message will now just schedule as soon as this one sends. So let's say yep. you originally sent this to go out five days after you added the contact. Yep. But now you bumped it up and it's say it's only one day after you added yeah. the contact, the second message follows which cadence? The second message will follow the new cadence. Yep. And so now so all the domino, you just pull just the set of forward. dominoes up. Yep. Or you can move them backwards. Like, you know what? I really want this message to deliver on October 1st and have my campaign start on, on the October first day 1st. of the month. Um, if this was the first message of the campaign, I'd come in here, I'd choose my new date. And we're going to choose October 1st now for this message rather than September 24th. Uh, and that's one of the, again, the powerful things about using campaigns is those messages all work together based on delays of that message. They are. They're all in a chain together. Yep. And so you can start campaigns on a specific day. Okay. So we showed you ed editing a scheduled message for one person, editing a campaign message that's scheduled for one person. Um, how do you remove someone from this campaign? Well, we've talked about that in other videos, but I'll show you quickly here. Info, I'll scroll down to campaigns and follow campaign. I click that box and, and save, save it. Now that message will be gone. Okay, so what, what about messages to groups? Mm. How do we move a scheduled message to a group? Uh, let's go ahead and create a message for a group here. I've got my customers group. We're going to message this group. How's everything? Um, have a great. Um, start to fall. So I'm sending out a message for the start of fall. My wife loves the fall. Mm. I, I'm indifferent. I like the summer. I love it too. <laughs> Change in the weather. Yes, I like the summer. <laughs> Chris. It's a really cold day weather here in Utah. <laughs> uh, but have, have a great start to fall. Um, I know, like all people know, that fall starts on September 17th and done. And I've got this message scheduled to. 23 people. Bianca's laughing because fall <laughs> doesn't actually start on September 17th. Holding my tongue. <laughs> Which is great because that's what this training is for, right? We'll come to the calendar here. I've got 23 messages scheduled for September 17th. And we realize the error, the error of your ways. The error, yes. <laughs> they are going to look so ridiculous when this goes out on the 17th. <laughs> yes, because fall actually starts on the 22nd. So much for evergreen content. I'm really sorry. <laughs> It works with any holiday, yes. any season, any scheduled message you can move. So again, I click this. If the side panel opens up, you know that this is a scheduled message. Okay. And you this can is not change. in a campaign, this is not a campaign message. You can get in and you can work your magic right here. Yes. So let's go ahead and show you again, how to move this message. I click here on the, the clock icon. We're going to adjust you know that, that day. It goes to the 22nd. So you can stay in good grace with your wife. <laughs> yep. Have a great start to fall. And now these, all 23 of these messages get moved. The whole group has now been moved. Yep. To the 22nd of September rather than the 17th. Um, and so editing the time of a message is not difficult from the not calendar. If it's a scheduled message, if it's a campaign message, it gets a little bit different. We, we have to go about editing it a different way. And so now let's show you a campaign message uh, and how to move a campaign message a for a group. group. So I'm going to go to campaigns here. Let me go ahead and make sure my follow-up campaign isn't starting right away. And it is. Let me just change this to start one day. Four days later, that works great. I'm going to add that same customer group to my follow-up campaign. Sorry, if I'm going too fast, um, watch this on 0.5 speed. We'll probably sound... <laughs> No, I, I'm sorry. I'll slow down a little bit. I'm here in the address book. I've got my customers all group. I'm going to now add group to campaign. 
And we've gone into detail in other videos about how to add a group to a campaign. Yes. What we're really showing you today is if that group is in a campaign and you how want to move, the, move the entire group, this is how you do that. Yes. So I've got my follow-up campaign. I'm going to add them to and click confirm. And <clears throat> this whole group, these individual contacts got added to my campaign. So they should have a message four days from now. So this should be Friday on the calendar. We should see um, a message. Oh, it's scheduled for Saturday. Oh, wait a second for Saturday. Maybe it didn't add them yet. Give me just a second. Oh, right here. 13 messages. You must have something there. Yes, now. I have Saturdays and Sundays, Sundays turned off. So, so it pushed to Monday. it to Monday. Well, and this is even another yeah, great there example. There you go. I don't want this message to go out on Monday. No, you don't. I want it to go out on a different day. So again, if I click on it and it opens up like this. It's an indicator. Ding, ding. This, this is, is a campaign, campaign message. message. Yeah, you need to edit it from somewhere else. So let me show you where you can edit. You do it from the address book. I'm going to come to the address book. I'm going to come to my groups. I'm going to find the group. And I'm going to click on this option here, view group details. This is your secret weapon for finding messages to people in a specific group. Okay, view group details. I'm going to click on that. And it opens up in the side panel all of my contacts, the name of the group, and then, of course, any messages that I have scheduled to contacts in this group. Okay, so it looks like um, one of my birthday messages. They're in this group, so I'm seeing that message. And I've got this message scheduled to 13 contacts. This is the group that we just added to the campaign. And you do not want it to go out on a Monday. Nope, I want to change this. I want this to go out on Friday now. Uh, and so I'll go ahead and I've clicked on it. Now I'm editing the message here in the side panel from the address book, not from the calendar. Um, and I'm choosing a new time for this message. I'm going to have it go on Friday the 11th at, let's say, 1024 a.m. Thanks again for jumping on that call yesterday. Did you have a chance to talk to your business partner? Okay, not a great message for, not a great example for this. But again, we're just showing you how to move the message. And sure enough, now I've got a message scheduled for Friday at 1024 a.m. And so if we go to the calendar, we'll see that we have, um, that message now has moved to the 11th. This is really key because it's not just the right message. It's the right message to the right group of people. At, at the, the right, right time yes and this really allows you that freedom to adjust your calendar to make sure that message is hitting your 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 single contact or a group at that right time yep um, and so editing these messages uh, you will find that based on the plan that you're on you can edit larger groups of messages uh, the essentials plan uh, groups of 50 premium up to 100 if there's a hundred people in your message you can move it um, but either way, we want you to be able to send your messages when they need to go out uh, rather than just having them not go out or having them go out worse on the wrong day. Right. And again, bring you back to the resource center. Everything that we talk about here in our uh, training videos, you can find this right in your dashboard. And notice that the tab that he has selected is education. So if it's an educational or a, a topic where you need to dive in and learn more, that will be under the education campaign or tab, not, not the campaign tab. <laughs> yes. So our invitation to you, we've got our, this article right here, how to cancel a scheduled message from the mobile app. Um, it's a little bit different moving and canceling messages on mobile. So we challenge you, you go read that article and figure out how to do this on your mobile app. Yep, because you can do it on your mobile app as well. Yep. So, so with that, yeah. yeah, guys, thanks so much. Um, we'll see you next week. Yep. Same time, same place, same people. Talk to you soon. <laughs>